Good morning. Today I've got four yoga poses for you. They're each kind of wrapped up in their own little sequence to help you release that morning stiffness. Kind of happens to us all. Hello, this is 40. And so if you're comfortable getting up and down from the floor, then I think you're gonna love starting your day with this practice. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are gonna start by coming on down to your back. Resting your head and shoulders on the floor and bringing your knees in towards your chest as you start to rock your legs a little bit side to side, getting your free morning back rub. Thank you very much, floor. That feels very nice. And then draw just your right knee in towards your chest with your hand, send your left leg out long. It doesn't have to make it all the way. If you feel something tugging or pulling too hard, just don't do it. You don't have to go all the way. You're drawing your right knee in towards your chest. Your collarbones are nice and broad. Your head is on the floor and you're gonna take a nice deep breath in. All the way down into your belly. Exhale all the way out. Letting it go. Switch your legs. Left knee in. Again, right leg doesn't have to go out all the way, especially in the morning when you're feeling stiff. You don't need to force anything. We're just gently gonna warm up our body. But if it feels good to take it super straight, I can make it to about there today. Oh, about there and that's right. So you do what's right for you. I trust you. I'm gonna hold here. Take a nice deep breath. My shoulder blades are pulled in underneath my body. So my chest is nice and broad. We are gonna switch again, pull the right leg back in. This time hold behind the knee and you're gonna put your left foot flat and you're gonna to start to extend your leg. That means you're lifting your foot up towards the sky. It does not mean your leg necessarily straightens, but it might. And then you're gonna bend again. Do that a couple more times, just bending and extending the leg. If it's hard to hold the back of the knee, you can grab the front of your pants and just let your left leg go. That totally works. We're gonna hold this next time, extending your leg. You can hold the front of your pants or the back of your knee. Your leg goes as straight as you would like it. You're gonna flex your foot. This is called big toe stretch in yoga, which is a pretty weird name, huh? Cause I'm not stretching my big toe, <laughs> but there it is, I see it. Your left leg is gonna go longer, longer, longer if you like, only if it feels good. That is a big morning stretch, friend. Bend both knees, bring them back into your chest and get that back massage again. Rock your legs a little side to side before we stretch out your left leg. Okay, right foot goes flat to the floor, knee is bent. You're gonna grab behind the left knee or on top of the pants and you're gonna extend that leg and bend it a few times. Extending and bending. I feel so stiff in the morning, especially on those winter days. So you're just gonna take your time. Don't force anything, because it won't feel good later. It may not feel good later and it'll come back to bite you. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Okay, extend and hold. Again, hold the front of your pants if you like. Keep your chest open. You've got a natural curve behind your neck as well. So no chins tucking or jutting up towards the ceiling. Right leg might start to creep forward. Taking some deep breaths. Only go as far as it feels good, like it's a muscular stretch. If you start to feel a ping or a zing or anything sharp or bad, then it's probably bad. So back off and you'll be fine. Bend both knees, bring them in towards your chest. Rock a little side to side. Let's move on to our next pose. That was the big toe stretch you just did. We are gonna rock ourselves up to sit and come to sit crisscross if it feels okay. You can always sit up on a blanket or a pillow if you like. Crisscross applesauce. I'm gonna lift my spine nice and tall and start to lift those arms up. Deep breath in, it's almost natural. When you lift your arms, your body wants so bad to take a deep breath, so let it. I'm gonna push out nice and long through my arms. I'm keeping my chest open, collarbones broad, and you're warming up some rotator cuff muscles by rotating your arms on the way up. Those palms are lifting up. And then I call this push the clouds out of the sky. You're pushing all those clouds away so you have a nice shining sun to the start of your day. Arms go back up. Now we're gonna bend over to one side. So bring your hand right by your hip. 
bend sideways, go as far as it feels good, go ahead and cartwheel to the other side. This is called side bend. We're gonna start by moving our side bend side to side. You are making wrinkles on one side of your waistline at a time, and you're starting to wake up your core. So here's a test. Don't put your hand on the floor. See if you can sustain yourself. You gotta use your abs for that round. Look, Ma, no hands to see if they are working and helping you. Put your hand down now and let's hold it and go a little bit deeper into that morning stretch. Walk your fingers out as far as you would like. Make sure both your butts are on the floor, righty and lefty. Okay, and if you feel something like a strain, again, or too much pressure, back off. I just got a little sign from my lower back. I was like, ah, that wasn't quite right. That didn't feel good. Now I'm back in the good zone. Work in the good zone. Take a breath. We'll go to the other side. Spinal flexion is the name. We call it a side bend in yoga. Your shoulders are not crowding your ears. They're dropping down the back as you reach through your arms. You can start to walk your fingertips out only if it feels good. I feel different on this side, it probably does. Probably feels different. Each side has its own history and own story. That's totally normal. We're gonna come back up. Mm. And we're gonna come into a cat and cow. So flip over onto your hands and knees, spread your fingers nice and wide, place them under your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. You're gonna round your spine like a Halloween cat, pointing your toes, tucking your tail, tucking your chin, and separating your shoulder blades by pressing your hands actively into the floor. Start to lift your tail so it reaches just straight back behind you. You don't have to lift it all the way up and arch your back. It probably doesn't feel good either. So tone your tummy, stick your tail out, squeeze your shoulder blades together and look just a little bit forward. That's your cow pose. Press into your hands, round your spine. Let's move now. Our third pose is gonna be downward facing dog. We're gonna make it there. So we've got four poses today that I chose. Each have their own little dance to get into, their own sequence so your body feels really ready and really prepared. So here we go. I'm gonna step my hands one step forward. Boom, boom, tuck my toes under. Knees stay bent, elbows stay unlocked. I'm gonna drive my hips back. Here's my downward facing dog. And if you're like everyone else I know, you're immediately gonna wanna to start to pedal your feet, so do it. Press one heel down and then the other so that you get a nice stretch on the back of your legs, the back of your calf, into your ankle. Take some deep breaths. You're hanging your head with pride here. Nice heavy head, super strong arms. We're gonna stop that pedaling. You're gonna walk your feet forward towards your hands and your hands back towards your feet until your feet are parallel, hips distance, knees bent. You're gonna hang here. Hang your spine with strong abdominals. They're contracting a little bit to support your lower back as you hang your head. Good. We're gonna slowly roll ourselves up. You can walk your hands up your legs with knees slightly bent, or you could just let them hang like wet noodles as you come all the way up to standing. Okay, step up to the front of your space here. Lift your arms into the sky. We're gonna do a swan dive with a nice long flat spine, bend your knees and you're gonna put your fingertips down by your toe tips here. Let your head hang for a moment. Let's take a step back with your right foot. Nice big step. I've got good architecture up front, knee over ankle, and then I'm gonna put my back knee down to the floor. Lengthen your spine. Sometimes it's hard to make it. Fingertips to the floor, that's okay. I can put my elbow here on my knee and just get a fingertip down. And we're gonna do that anyway. We're letting our hip open here for a moment, but now I'm gonna take my hand to my thigh and turn my head and chest to the left. My legs are strong, almost as if I could uh, lift them up off the floor. I'm breathing and rolling my shoulders back. If you wanna go a little bit deeper into it because it feels good, right? Only if it feels good. Step your right hand a little more off sides Keep your knee over the ankle. Don't let your knee come with you. Start to turn your chest a little bit more. 
Pull those shoulder blades back and look up towards the sky. Breathe. And then release. Bring those hands back down. Bring this leg back with you. You're in a table, and then you're gonna go to downward facing dog. Hold here for a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Full body strengthening pose, downward facing dog. Bang for your buck. I love a bang for your buck pose. We're gonna take those feet forward, take little steps. You can always walk your hands back also to meet them. If your feet don't wanna go all the way up to your hands, doesn't matter, you're gonna roll on up. Again, you can always walk your hands up your legs for a little extra support, but we're gonna to step to the front of our space once we stand up. So we have space to step back. We're gonna go with the other side. Inhale, arms come up. And swan dive and fold. Lead with your heart, bring it forward. Bend your knees, fold over those legs. We are gonna take a big step back with your left foot, big step. Knee over ankle in the front, bring that back knee down to the floor. If you can't bring two hands down because you've got boobs or bellies in the way, which is normal, you can always put your right hand on your thigh. Ah, you can always use blocks under your hands if you've got them. Anyway, here we go. We got that left hip a little bit open. You're gonna put your right hand on your thigh, lift your head and chest, and turn it to the right. Now, twists. This is twisting lunge. Our last pose, we've got a nice step back sequence. This is another bang for your buck. Hips are opening, legs are strengthening, spine is rotating, core is getting stronger. You're using your core, right? Yes, thank you. Good, do you wanna go a little deeper? I'm gonna step a little off sides, keep my knee over my ankle. Maybe lift that right arm up. Do not stress your shoulders, please. Do not put too much pressure in your lower back. You want just the right kind of pressure that says, oh yes, that feels good now. And I suspect it will feel good later. Sometimes we're not sure, that's okay. Here we go, hand comes back down. You're gonna bring that right foot back. You're on all fours again, so we can get into downward facing dog. Step your hands forward, feet back. Relax your head. Take a breath. Walk your hands and your feet together, roll on up. Friends, we have time for one more. We have time for one more. As you lift those arms, you're stepping forward to the front of the mat. Here we go again, swan dive. And fold, right foot steps back. Knee drops down. This time, you're gonna bring your hands to your front thigh and lift your chest up. Do not do that by arching your back. You gotta back those hips up. My legs are so strong right now. They are sustaining me. And now, I'm gonna put my left hand on the hip, right arm up, and I'm gonna to bend to the side. Got a little bonus here into our lunge. I bend to the side. I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna put my right hand down and take that twist again. You might be able to get a little bit deeper into your twisted lunge. Don't go too far. You wanna feel good now, later, and tomorrow. Good, bring that hand back down. We are gonna take a shortcut, lift your back knee, step forward. Roll yourself up to stand, arms into the sky. Here we go, swan dive. Fold again, lift those hips. Up, up, up. Left foot steps back. Knee drops down, good architecture up front. I'm gonna press off that front thigh. Here's a mistake, as if you're leaning all the way forward and you arch back like that. No, use your abs, pull back. Strong tummy, right hand on your hip, left arm up, bend to the side. I'm wrinkling the right side of my waistline. Chin is off my chest. I'm gonna come back to the center. Drop that hand down to the floor so I can twist again. Right hand can be on your thigh or in the sky. <sighs> Abdominals strong. Here we go, release that. We're gonna take that shortcut again. Step your back foot forward. <sighs> you are in a forward bend and you're gonna bend your knees and roll all the way up to stand. And as you stand, you're gonna roll your shoulders up, 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 and back, and then down. And again, up, 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 back, and down. You're gonna stand nice and strong. Take a nice, deep breath all the way into your belly. And exhale. 
let it go. And I wish you a beautiful day. Really good job. It was so nice doing yoga with you. I'll see you tomorrow.